We have a viewer from Little Falls who wants to talk about trapping. Legislature, uh, he thinks, has not been as effective as it should be in stopping trappers from uh, killing hunting dogs uh, and uh, wants to know if uh, the legislature is going to deal with that issue in any way in this session. Who wants to take a run at that? Yeah. <laughs> I could, spe I I could speak to it, yeah. 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 We actually had uh, assembled a game and fish bill on the Senate side that uh, uh, is not going to be making its way forward, in part because uh, its language ended up in a finance omnibus bill. But uh, we there did. We, yeah, so, uh, so I, uh, I've been dealing with this challenge for a little while here this session. But uh, I think it's clear that there's more and more concern around Minnesota in terms of, uh, of hunting or recreational dogs getting caught in traps. And, and so the question is, are there any common sense you know, solutions to this? And we had a couple of ideas that came forward on the Senate side, uh, just to set back off of state trails or, or roadways, uh, just to, to get the traps out of the, the high-frequency areas where dogs may run with their owners. I think that's a, a common-sense proposal that I think could work well. It would also allow trappers to be able to, to maintain a line virtually anywhere in the state they'd like uh, and just get it off of the, those high-use uh, trails and roads. I think that's something that we could try, hopefully rally around in the future. I know Senator John Hoffman had a, a very, uh, I guess, uh, income encompassing approach to, to, to safe trapping that was heard in our uh, uh, Energy and Environment Committee. And uh, hopefully he's able to continue to build a coalition around common sense approaches to, uh, to safe trapping. Obviously in Minnesota we've got a rich tradition of hunting, fishing, and trapping. You want to preserve that, that tradition and that legacy. You also want to recognize that a lot of folks use our, 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 our trails and our, our uh, great outdoors for different reasons. And so having a safe environment for those folks as well, and their dogs, is an important thing to, to strive for. And, um I actually authored that bill yeah. in, in the House, oh, uh, right. the, um, getting uh, uh, the conibear traps sure. off uh, away from the road right away and, and from state trails. Uh, it did not get included in the uh, House uh, game and fish bill, even though uh, I am in the majority and I was the, the author of that bill. And so you can understand, uh, um, uh, Chairman, that I'm open to the idea of that coming into uh, our committee. I think uh, it's um, an issue that's important. We want to protect hunting dogs uh, and uh, maintain the strong trapping tradition in Minnesota. So I'm hopeful that we can continue a discussion there. Any thoughts on that? I agree. All right. <laughs>